Hello everyone. Today I'm starting lesson 2.3 is solving from uh, Cambridge Prime Science uh, Learner Book. So let's start the solving. What you have learned in this lesson? Find out that in a mixture of a solid and a liquid, sometimes the solid dissolve. In last lecture, we talk about we talked about mixture of different materials so ask a scientific question then plan a scientific inquiry or to find the answer so let's start i put some sugar in but no it has gone you can still taste the sugar i think the sugar is still there but you can't find it with spoon so what do you think when you're making a tea a cup of tea so we are putting the sugar so after this you can find the sugar inside or you can still taste the sugar yes when you are drinking tea we can taste the sugar uh, with the spoon you cannot find it obviously when it's mixed up you cannot find it so Sophie, uh, Sophia Marcus and Arun are not sure what has happened to the sugar it dissolved in the in the tea in the water in the warm water so let's move to the next page and discuss about this in detail some solids dissolve when they are mixed with the liquid this means the solid breaks into pieces that are too small to see when the solid has dissolved we cannot see it but it is still there obviously salt sugar so when we are putting in the water so it dissolved in the water you cannot see after it so many liquids are see through we say these are transparent like this one you put in the sugar or salt and mix up so the, after this you can see after the mixture the water is still transparent when a solid dissolved in the transparent liquid the liquid stay transparent but might change color little bit we describe solids that dissolve in a liquid as soluble. Soluble which can dissolve in the water, which can dissolve in the liquid, the material, the solid. Like sugar, it's a solid and liquid. Water is a liquid. So it's dissolved in the liquid. Sugar dissolved in water. So sugar is soluble in soluble in water we describe solid that do not dissolve in the liquid as insoluble in the water if you put some stone some sand insoluble not to mix uh, not you cannot make mixture it's, it's still there so insoluble sand and uh, stone pieces sand doesn't dissolve in water so sand is insoluble in water an insoluble solid is in a liquid is a mixture and can be easily separate yes we want to make them separate we can make separate a sand from water so this is a mixture a soluble solid in a liquid is still a mixture but is more difficult to separate we can make separate a sugar from the salt from the water a salt from the water but it's little bit difficult as compared to we can make separate a mixture of water with the sand let's start question answer what word describe a solid that will dissolve in a liquid what solid that can this that uh, that can dissolve in a liquid so simple word you can write here soluble the word soluble describe the the solid that will dissolve in the liquid second part what word describes a solid that will not dis uh, dissolve in a liquid? Insoluble, obviously.
sugar dissolve in water name any two other solid that can dissolve in water uh, you can a lot of things salt a jelly powder jelly blocks a lot of things when you're writing this enough salt and uh, coffee and jelly powder it dissolves in a water let's uh, move to the next page page number 47 activity you you will need some colored sweets a plate and some water some sweets are made of colored sugar yes different candies so put some in these sweets into a little water to see what happens when the sugar dissolve draw a diagram to show what happens if you are taking the warm water so you can see it's uh, the process it's get faster so you the uh, the candies for different sweets and that color comes out because it's made of different sugar so how much salt the next activity how much salt will dissolve in water you will need uh, watch for this activity three drinking glasses a spoon some salt and some water which you put in the in the glass little water then median and then at least near the uh, near the full so look at the picture to see how to set up the investigation this uh, process put half a spoon of salt into each glass of water stir each one like this one observe to see observe to see if the salt is salt so observe to see if the salt is dissolved then add another half a spoon of salt to each glass stir and observe them obviously boys when the, the we see amount of water how much amount of water we are putting for example if we are putting uh, um, less than half water and put five teaspoon of salt so it's useless the salt amount is more than water so like this we need to put for at least this is a more than half glass so uh, two uh, teaspoon it's enough or one teaspoon it's enough and for half this is half teaspoon it's enough and for this more than half uh, this uh, teaspoon for salt it's enough so it can dissolve in this water but if you are we putting a salt or sugar both for example i'm taking this glass and put uh, six uh, teaspoon of sugar so it's and we are making stir and moving it the a spoon we cannot uh, we cannot the mix all the sugar inside the water still there are some okay at the bottom why because in the water the level of water should be more as compared to sugar or salt so the next keep going this unit and uh, this until the salt stop dissolving okay talk about your prediction before you start write your result in the table so amount of water you can see here maybe this is a uh, hundred uh, milliliter this is 500 and this is one liter I'm just assuming how many teaspoon of salt is salt in which glass in which glass of water did the least salt dissolve? So the least salt is solved in the glass containing the least water. This one. In which glass? I'm just writing it's better. The glass containing the least water. The glass containing the least water obviously in which glass of water did the most salt most water the glass containing the most water the same thing
this is same like this the most water the glass containing the most water how does the amount of water affect the amount of salt that with dissolve so the more water there is the more salt will be dissolved in it easy so less water so less dissolve the less uh, amount of salt dissolved in the water So the more water there is in the glass, so the, the more salt will dissolve in it. Less water, less salt. But if you're putting in the less amount of water, more salt, it's not possible to dissolve in the liquid. Let's move to the next page, number 49. Asking question and uh, about this solving you will need a spoon some cup and uh, some water okay vinegar and cooking oil and uh, or other liquid and some salt sugar sand flour jelly uh, crystals or uh, or other sorry Aaron has a scientific question which of the five type of scientific inquiry will our need to use to find the answer? Research, pair tests, observing over time, identifying and classifying, or pattern seeking. In your group, look at the material and ask your own scientific question like this. Okay, so obviously, uh, Arun will need uh, to use fear testing to find out the answer to his question fear test if he's doing uh, the activity it's not fear it's need fear test which liquid will dash in water is solved in water plan your own fear test by drawing up uh, by drawing a diagram to show what you're going to do in a fear test you change one thing measure or observe one thing and keep the rest the same obviously only one thing other all things should be same in the fear test question number two to make the fear test what will you need to keep the same water we need to keep the same if we are doing the fear test about sugar so we need to put in one glass and in the second glass amount of water in different for example if i want to check what kind of uh, how amount of water half in half glass and full glass and i'm putting three teaspoon in half glass and three teaspoon in the full glass and i want to observe in the half glass or in full glass it's taking more time to dissolve so how many time it's the, it's it, it will take to uh, to dissolve in the water so other thing same other thing same just glass similar size both and the water temperature similar for both glasses and uh, just amount of water sugar same 3 teaspoon same kind of teaspoon in both glasses like this we are making a fear test Do not taste uh, any of the material you use in, the, in, the, in, in this investigation. Why is it unsafe to taste the material? Why? Because uh, the learner should not taste the material. Why? The material and the equipment may not be clean. And the equipment, the material, maybe you are using these equipment in science lab. So maybe it's not clean. Even you are using in home, maybe it's not clean. If you're with a teacher or with your parents, then it's okay. But otherwise, you don't need to taste the material. Maybe the water is so hot. So, 
enough uh, until here what you have learned in this lesson i can name two material that dissolve in water and one that doesn't simple sugar dissolve in water sand doesn't i can ask a sci uh, scientific question and plan the right type of scientific inquiry inquiry to find the answer obviously you can ask if after doing these activities you have a lot of questions in your mind and uh, the next lesson in the next video Bye.